So I'm going to show you how I make my coconut goat meat curry sauce. What I'll be needing for this is green pepper, red peppers, these are habanero peppers, scotch bonnet, um, onions, red onions, carrots, curry powder, salt, seasoning cubes, goat meat, and then, and of course my coconut milk, my corn flour, and my Worcestershire sauce. And so let's start cooking. So first, I'm going to transfer my goat meat into my pots. And then I'm going to add in some onions. Quite generous amounts. I'm going to also add my seasoning cubes. I'm also going to add um, abanero peppers and then I'm going to take some of this curry to season and then some good amount of salt. Sure, that goat meat has some flavor, so even when you just cook it. Just salt and seasoning cube, you get the best, so yeah. And then I'm going to marinate it for like 10 minutes and then I'll put it on top of the stove and let it start cooking. I'm not going to put water because it's going to receive it its own juice. Yeah. Put it on the stove top and just let it cook for some few minutes and then you see. So this has been cooking for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes and it's already at least 90% is done. So now I'm just going to add the coconut milk. Yeah. So I'm going to add my coconut milk. And bring it to the bottom. So I'm just going to mix that all together. And just let that put some fuel. Just, I'll just bring this up to a bowl, basically. I felt this um, economic is not enough, so I decided to add one more. Yeah. So after that, I'll pour in my carrots, after which I'll cover and let it boil for some few minutes. So now I'm going to add in my vegetables and um, yeah. I added some green beans because I just had it at home. You don't need to have that. And um, yes, I'm just going to stir this. Let it cook for a while. Then I'll add in my sauce and so I'm going to add in my Worcestershire sauce now. And I'll just let it cook for about three to five minutes, and I'll then take in the sauce with corn flour. Yeah. Water, and I'm going to be adding one spoon into it to so just make. So I'll use this to take I'll make another one, and then I'll be pouring it into it. So this is the final product you can make your sticker i am very comfortable with this consistency i added the cornstarch mixture mixture twice as you saw in the video and um, this was very 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 delicious this sauce did not last up to one hour we finished it immediately and yeah everyone enjoyed it please try it let me know if you try it tag me thank you so much for watching please share comment just tell me what you love about the sauce and tell me if you'll be trying it bye